Racist black students stay without whites just backfired after secret camera caught every nasty thing they did. If you were searching Google for Evergreen State College and came across this page, then you are in for a treat. High school seniors should hold off on that application until they see this video below about how the racist black students took over the college and filled the campus with violence and anger. If I was a parent sending a kid to college, then Evergreen State College would not be an option. To hell with that place. That diploma is probably worth the same amount as a pack of two-ply toilet paper from the Dollar General. Watch this horrid video filled with profanity-laced verbal violence and tell me if you believe that Evergreen State College is still a place of education and learning. Is there any hope for the future of this college? Here is a handful of the stupid things the black students were chanting during their nonsense takeover. F you, white people, and F the police. When you're at college and you're still chanting things like this, then you clearly aren't learning anything. Take your 1.0 GPA and go home. Save college for the students who want to learn and become something better in their future life. College is for students who want to move on to a career, not become losers and protesters. Whiteness is the most violent fucking system to ever breathe. Whiteness is not a system. Every color has violent people, hashtag Ferguson. Hashtag LA. Hashtag every time a criminal gets shot and black people loot a store or burn down neighborhoods. I'm tired of white people talking about what black and brown people need. Why don't we all hold ourselves accountable for our future? If this person is tired of white people, then maybe consider, just for a moment, that someone is tired of them too? These white ass faculty members need to be holding him, and him, and all these people accountable. Since when are teachers being persecuted for their color? They're just there to do a job and help students graduate with their degree and move on to adulthood filled with college loans. Also, what the hell does this quote even mean? Who is him, him and all these people? I don't even understand the incomprehensible BS this lunatic is saying. F you, President, George, Bridges, we don't want to listen to a goddamn thing you have to say. No. You shut the fuck up. Cussing out the president of a college will get you far in life. Hopefully far away from the college and into a life of squalor that you deserve for being a loser. I'm telling you, you're speaking to your ancestor, all right? We've been here before you. We built these cities, we had civilization way before you ever had, coming out your caves. I'm pretty sure that none of us alive on this planet, right now, are each other's ancestors. That's not how ancestry works. If some of these protesting hullabaloo's learned anything in their lifetime, then they would know that you cannot speak directly to your ancestor because they probably passed away hundreds of years ago. When this person says we built these cities then who is we? If we look back in time and see who all the carpenters and building builders are, then we would likely see people of every color. If this unintelligent person wants to get even more technical, then they would know the Native Americans actually had a civilization before anyone else in America. They are, in fact, called Native for a reason. Saying that white people come out of caves is kind of funny, but if you think about it, we probably all came out of caves. If dinosaurs were real, then we would all need somewhere to hide. If a carnivorous dinosaur can fit into a cave to eat us, then that's where we would hide. Maybe white people spend so much time in caves and that's why we're not tan. I don't know, you'd have to prove that dinosaurs existed first and that's an entirely different topic. You have the fucking nerve to, like, fucking dehumanize our, unintelligible. Unintelligible is right. When you're in college and acting like you're dehumanized, then you're just unintelligent and don't deserve to be in college. You are literally dehumanizing yourselves with this horrible behavior and you're all an embarrassment to your parents. Parents don't send their children to college to become losers and racists. Every one of these idiot students at Evergreen State College should be expelled. They can go live their life as a poor protester and maybe they'll realize how good they had it to be in college. Evergreen State College went viral because they accepted losers into their college. I bet they regret that. Thanks for watching. 
Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.